Hi, you're listening to Shelley Belcourt and I'm going to teach you how to integrate a Twitter card into your Aweber account. So what you're going to get is this beautiful looking card in your Twitter account and they are going to click on this button and they will be sent directly into your Aweber, which is very, very powerful and extremely cool. So these are the five steps. Number one is you need to create your list in Aweber. So we'll go ahead to Aweber and we'll click on my lists and then you'll create a list. So I'm going to do just a test list all the way through here. And you save that. You go ahead and personalize your list and then confirm the opt-in. So you save all that. So that is step one. Step two is create a sign-up form in Aweber. So you will go to, your, to that particular list you've just created and create a sign-up form for it. Now when you're doing it for this situation, you don't need to bother about what the actual sign-up form looks like because they're not going to actually see it. So you'd save that and move on to the next step. So you put in your, enter all your details and you'd put your thank you page and what have you, save it and go to the next step which is publish. Now this is the important part here, okay, so you will install your form, go to the raw HTML and you need to save this. So that is your sign up form done, so that is step two. So the third step is to go to your Twitter account and you need to create a Twitter card. I'll show you how to do that. So in your Twitter account, you will go to your Ads Manager. If you don't know how to do this, I have got a link in the, how to do set up your Ads account, I've got a link to another video I did. Okay, so what you need to do is click on Creatives, and then there's, you can either select Tweet or Cards. You select Cards. And then create lead generation card. So here is where you would set up this. I'm not going to do this properly for this demonstration, but you would put the description. So um, learn, oh, I'll just use the one that's learn how to generate leads. Okay, we'll just use that. Now your image, you need to uh, get your own image in here. Um, whatever that would be for you, uh, then the requirements are a minimum width is 600 pixels and the height is 150 or you can do a 4 to 1 aspect ratio so either of those options. I will we'll upload my own banner in, in there. So you need a call to action which will be over here. You can see what you're actually uh, doing here. So this call to action is whatever you want that to do. So learn more here. Now your privacy policy, this is something that you must have from your own website, so you need to put in that there. Um, I'm just going to put, I wonder if they'll let me put demo.com forward slash privacy. <laughs> Let's see. Now the fallback URL is the URL that you want people to go to once they've landed on your page. So let's see, shallowbowcourt.com forward slash traffic. So the next thing that is your card created. So the next step is number four, integrate card with Aweber. You're still in Twitter. So that is the second part of this. Now, this is what is called the optional settings and doing this will actually help you create your, your um, Aweber form integration, which is what we're trying to do. So again, put your destination URL in here. We want people to go to when they have clicked through, you um, submit message, so after they've, after they've pushed the button what do you want them to see, so um, something like check your email for lead generation, which is what I promised them, so it's got to be related to what you promised them. So the next you want to do is click on the data settings, so again 
and this is the integration in Aweber. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. What you're going to do is submit this address, which is aweber.com forward slash scripts forward slash adlead.pl. Now I'll show you where you can find all this information soon, but this is actually what you'll need for the Aweber form. Now the next really important step is that you must change the HTTP method to post. If you don't do that, it's not going to work. So in here, this is the uh, meta tags for Aweber. So you need to put name in here, the name and email in here, and you can leave the screen name blank. So you want to add under custom hidden data values, you want to click on add, you want three three hidden fields. In the first field, you are going to add the metadata form ID. In the second, you will put list name. And then the third, you'll put meta underscore ad tracking. Okay, now this is where it gets a bit complicated, but just follow along with me. So what you're going to do you can stop this video obviously and go back and look at this again. So you're going to look at these values in your Aweber uh, form that you've created. And so what you need to do is just go down in this form and it looks like a lot of HTML. If you just go down to, I just look for the words hidden here and you'll see the meta underscore web form ID and then a whole lot of numbers here, the value numbers. What you want to do is you want to select that number and then you want to go and put that number in the value space there. Okay, so that was the meta form ID and that was the number associated with it. The second is the list name, so you go back to your Aweber form and you can see list name here and the value equals, you want to select that value within the quotation marks and go back and add that into the value space. So list name equals that and the next one you're looking for is the meta underscore ad tracking value which is Twitter demo which is what you've named your card. So you select that and you copy that and you paste that into this value box there. So that is all you need there. Now you can name your card here again on Twitter. And then you agree to the terms and conditions and create card. Now it is sounds complicated, but that is actually what you need to do. So it says results successfully submitted the card. Now what you will do after this is you will go and check your email in a few minutes, it takes a couple of minutes. And that is when you will find that your it is linked into your email address. And if you go into your Aweber account and you look under subscribers for, the, for this account you've just created, as you can see, my name is here. So that is proof that it works and it is, it's kind of, you know, there's a lot of steps to get through, but that's how it will work for you. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, it is confusing, but just stop and go through this video if you are concerned about exactly how to do it. All the best. My name is Shelley Belcourt.